Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. Still going. Uh, I, have, I haven't curled up a little ball in depression just yet. But you know what I am doing? Throwing on my flannel, and I got a little, I got a nice little comfort cocktail today. We're gonna go with a nice little spiked hot chocolate. You can't go wrong with hot chocolate ever, right? Especially, it's getting cold out. You can obviously go with three options on this, okay? You can obviously go peppermint schnapps. That's probably the way I'm going. You can go vodka or you can go whiskey. That's up to you. What do you feel like drinking? I think I'm going with peppermint schnapps. That's just kind of like a, you know, in the season type of thing. And we're not gonna, you know, we're not just gonna pour hot chocolate, put a little drink in there. We're gonna make a nice presentation. We're gonna make a nice cocktail, okay? And ladies, if you hang out with a dude all night and you're feeling, you know, you're feeling him and you, you like his, maybe he's got a flannel on and you're, you're feeling his style and you guys end up hooking up. If he goes back to the house with you in that flannel shirt and he doesn't lay it down, I mean just bring the pain. If you don't hear him slapping of pelvises, says, revoke the dude's flannel shirt card. Take it right off and be like, bro, you can't be rolling around like a lumberjack bringing some weak ass game in the sack, homie. Let's go ahead and get this hot chocolate together. All right, just boiling up a little bit of water. Obviously I'm drinking beer while I wait. I mean, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put about a cup of cream in that. You know, I want it to, I'm gonna mix it all up. So I'm gonna put a little cream in there. A little simple syrup I'm gonna throw in there as well. Get it sweetened up a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, make sure you go stop off at the store on the way home. All right, can't be fucking around on hot chocolate night at the crib without the whipped cream. Mm hmm It always has been and always will be delicious. All right, let's start mixing in our simple syrup and our milk. Okay. Let's add our hot chocolate. I'm adding four packs to this shit. If I don't feel that's enough, I'll add more. I'm pretty sure this is how they make crack. Hot cocoa, cocaine. What's cocaine? Cooked up crack, hello. Hot chocolate, crack. Come on! I got it at a medium heat. I'm just gonna let that simmer a little bit. All right, I got some candy here, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna be serving hot peppermint schnapp, hot cocoa without some added bonuses. You know, that's the thing. That's what separates you from being a kid, is you could do shit you wanted to do back then. So I'm gonna come in here real aggressive, start smashing up some M&Ms, dude. It looks like it's blood, but it's just red M&M. I got this little mug right here from this little store by my house called Jack's. Four of them were $5, it's a steal. Let's get our peppermint schnapps. Remember, as with all of other cocktails, a little 10 count never hurt nobody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Listen, we're we'll trying to float to bed, okay? How are you gonna float if you don't have the proper amount of wind? Okay, the key to this is how you guys gotta figure out how in the hell you're gonna get the hot chocolate from here into the glass. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some into this and then pour it in. Hey, if you really wanna step your shit up, get you a frother. They're like $15 on Amazon. Get that nice, look at that, it's a latte on top. Here we go, pour it in. Leave room at the top for whipped cream and goodies. First things first, a little whipped cream. Yeah, look at that. You're gonna come in hot here with some of your Twix caramel maybe on the outside. Some of your crushed up other stuff, no free abs. If you wanna get really dumb, you can go ahead and put a little bit of chocolate syrup on there. That's never gonna hurt nobody. And there it is. You got yourself some candy. You got yourself a spiked ass hot chocolate. Jeez, that's delicious, man. I highly suggest this one. Just make sure when you walk away, when you're done making your drink, when you go over to your couch, keep the whipped cream handy, you know what I mean? You can never have enough. That's this episode of $20 Chef. See you guys next time.